Hello Scruffy fam, how you doing? Joe here. Um, so today what I wanted to do, as you saw from the title, is I want to show you the holsters that I got for my new everyday carry. So I did a review a couple weeks ago about my new everyday carry. It is the Canik TP9 Combat Elite Executive. This thing is sweet. Uh, it is, it's unloaded, nothing in it, okay? <laughs> We're clear here. Uh, empty mag. Empty magazine, empty magazine. So this is my new everyday carry. And a couple of people messaged me and said, why would you put all of that crap on your everyday carry? And I'm gonna explain it and I think you'll understand based on the holsters that I'm selecting. So let me start off with finding a holster for an optic and a light laser combo is not easy for the Canix. Um, Canix does give you a Kydex holster, I think with almost all of theirs that comes just standard, but it's it's not optic cut, it doesn't have a spot for a light. Um, if you had a Glock, too easy, just too easy. Everyone, everyone makes it for Glock. Uh, but it was difficult for me to find some for Canix. I was able to find some. I uh, reached out to some people, was able to get a hold of uh, quite a few, and here's a couple things that I need to let you guys know. So I run a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school, and all of my classes are at night. Uh, I, I have a couple classes during the day, but I have a lot of classes at night. Like tonight, I'm going to go teach class. I don't usually get out of the school till 8.45, 9 o'clock at night, where I park isn't very well lit. Um, it's a major intersection of town. Uh, it's just <laughs> dark parking lot at night, major intersection. So <laughs> because of that, um, I carry every time I go there. Now I have the benefit of I have quite a few police officers that train at my school um, and to include some in my town. I am not overly worried, uh, but when we were doing the refit of the school, it was broken into, uh, it wasn't vandalized, but they stole all of our power tools that were inside the school. So the school was broken into before we moved in. Now we have a security system now, uh, we've got a lot of checks in place to make sure something like that wouldn't happen again. Uh, but I am there at night, usually by myself, leaving uh, with the really, really poor lighting. So I decide that I'm gonna carry there. So my first choice for concealed carry for that is my grunt style fanny pack. Uh, this grunt style fanny pack, I think once I got it shipped was about 60 bucks. Um, I put an MTAC little Velcro holster in here. So again, here, this slides in like this. It covers the trigger, which is exactly what you're looking for. We want cover of the trigger. And the reason I got this is because I wear uh, sweatpants to go teach class. I'm wearing sweatpants. If I were to put an inside or outside the waistband holster, <laughs> I would get de-pantsed. Um, also, I have a lot of kids at the school um, and I just want something that was inconspicuous, people don't know about. Um, if you just see this sitting off to the side, I people see me put my keys, my phone, my wallet and stuff go here and it goes next to my bag. You would never think that there's a firearm in here. Only one of my students actually knew that there was a firearm in here uh, when they first started seeing this. Um, this thing, it's a little bit bigger, but this is very, very comfortable. It's easy to carry. I can throw it over my shoulder. Um, I can put it on my waist. It's easy to carry, very inconspicuous, and it fits all of that stuff on my everyday carry and you can't see it. This is what I primarily use to carry. I would say 80% of the time, this is what I'm wearing to carry. Um, it works, it fits, I love it, I love it. It is, it is a great option. For my shield, I also had a fanny pack that I used, uh, but this one is a thousand times better. I like all the options that this grunt style EDC bag has. And you can tell they're good because they're usually out of stock. I was actually able to get one in stock. So this is my number one choice for concealed carry. Now a lot of people will say, if you're gonna conceal carry, it should be on you. And I agree with that statement. 
but there's a time and a place where you can't. When I'm training jujitsu in my gi, not am I usually going to be wearing a holster. There are times when we do. We do a uh, roll with uh, blue guns in our class. It's something unique that we do at our school. So after that, we like I also, inside the waistband hol holsters. I, it's what I grew up on. It's one of my, my favorites for carrying. So I was able to find one from, that's the, the one. I was able to find one from the Urban Carry Company. This is the Hyperion, I believe. Yep, this is the Hyperion. Now this one is made for Canic with a light and um, the optic. So it's got an optic cut here and this goes in really well. I mean, it snaps in, Whoop. but that's the biggest problem. If I were to invert this, I've started to work this now, it slides out. So um, after talking to them, one of the things they said to do was tighten down some of these screws and it should hold better, okay? Um, but I teach self-defense with firearms and you don't want it falling out. So that's an issue. What I can do, as they said, is I can tighten down the retention here on this screw. Also, it being inside my waistband will provide additional pressure. It's not going to go out. Um, I was shaking that pretty hard to get that to come out, but this is not Kydex. It's leather, okay? So there is no safety strap or anything, no thumb release. If I wanted to, I could put that on. Um, but the reason I picked this one from Urban Carry Company was because it is leather and it fits. Uh, when I was wearing this, I, I legit forgot I was wearing it. With the pistol inside of it, with a fully loaded magazine, one in the chamber, I forgot I was wearing it. That is awesome. My only knock is, as you saw, when I had this upside down shaking it, if it doesn't have some type of pressure, it slid out. Not a fan of that. Um, this is one that I will wear if I'm not wearing a hoodie or a coat. Uh, the high today is seven. I am wearing a coat. In those instances, because this is so big, I also got the outside the waistband holster. Again, same thing, Hyperion, outside the waistband. Um, and I like it. This one's a little bit more snug, but it's the same type of issue. It's a leather holster. Um, I did tighten this one down, and as you can see, it's not coming out where the inside the waistband did. I think what benefits from that is that there are screws on each side that you can tighten down and it changed, um, it changed how much pressure was on here, which is great. The other thing I like about this is that it's outside my waistband and it's actually a much easier draw and I'm not getting caught on the front sight, the optic, anything. It's a pretty smooth draw. Um, this is one that as my gunsmithing business takes off um, and if I'm working and accepting clients and bringing people in, I will be wearing this because in that type of environment, I am not afraid for you to see that I am carrying. So anytime I'm doing a, an open carry or I'm wearing a jacket um, or a hoodie or additional layers that I know I'm not going to be taking off, I actually prefer to wear this one. Um, it's easier for me to get to. There's less crap for me to move out of the way. And I like it. I like the feel of it. It, it fits really, really well. Uh, and the last one that I got is a shoulder holster. This is from Swag, or I'm sorry, Swamp Rig Holsters. Um, I just got this. I haven't even finished putting it all the way together yet. Uh, I've got to adjust the straps. I'm not a big guy. And this takes two people to do. Um, but this is really comfortable. This is comfortable. It fits really well. It, I haven't worked in the leather and everything yet, but it's a combination of leather and Kydex. It holds really nice. So it's got, like I said, combination Kydex and leather, which is, I, th I think that's the way to go if you can, is that combination gives you uh, just that more secure and stabilization for your firearm. 
Um, but this also has the dual magazine. You can do double stack or single stack in here. They give you leather inserts for this. Uh, I'm a big fan of the companies that take the extra step to make things customizable. This is a fully customizable rig. Um, it's very comfortable, very, very comfortable. Uh, and I have thought about making this what I would wear anytime that I'm wearing a jacket that I know is not coming off. So if we're doing an outside event and I know that I'm gonna be wearing a, uh, I've got a zip up hoodie or a coat or something that, of that type that I'm just not gonna take off, I'm gonna wear this. Also, when I'm hunting, this is what I'm gonna wear. The reason I would pick this for hunting instead of a waistband one is because I have a bib system, and if I wear this, it's just a zip and pull, as opposed to having to lift up, pull down, draw out. Um, I've had that for my shield before, and it's not the best thing. So having this shoulder holster is gonna be my primary one for hunting, and anytime I'm gonna be out and around uh, where I know I'm gonna be wearing a jacket, especially if you're gonna be outside for a long time, it much easier to conceal that way and it, there's nothing inhibiting my waist. Um, so those are the four, <laughs> four holsters that I have for my new everyday carry, my Canik TP9 Elite uh, Combat Elite Executive. Uh, this thing is, this thing is really fun. This firearm is actually taking the place of not only my everyday carry, but my primary home defense weapon as well. Uh, this has supplanted my AR. And the reason for that is with the light on here, the red dot on here and being nine mil, I am much more confident in being able to do a one handed operation and get my kids to safety while still maintaining a good control that this is better than my AR or my shotgun. And I heard a really great saying, it's not mine. I won't take credit for it, but, uh, Pistol bullets stopping people, rifle bullets go through people, and shotgun take chunks out of people. So I would rather have something that stops in people, uh, less to clean up if I needed to. But guys, that is the quick video for today. I hope you guys like what you're seeing. Uh, we have a really cool video coming up really soon that I am just stupid excited about. Uh, we just got my wife her own um, pistol and I'm excited to tell you guys about it, but I don't want to spoil the surprise. So you'll see it here probably in the next week or two. She and I are going to go to the range um, and we're going to put both of our pistols on the range and just shoot and just shoot a lot. And she's going to give you her feedback on what she thinks of hers. I'm going to have her shoot mine and then she'll kind of compare between the two to see which one she likes better. It doesn't matter. This one's mine, <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, I will put links to the websites where I got the Swamp Rig, the Urban Carry, and the Grunt Style. So if you're interested, you can check those out. This is not sponsored by any of them. Um, I do not have affiliate links. I don't make any money from this. This is just for you guys. If it's something you're looking for, if you have a uh, Canic Combat Elite um, or any of those TP9s that you have the optics and uh, the lights on, or you've got a threaded barrel, it's really difficult to find a holster that'll fit that. These four, well three, all have holsters that will fit optics, lights, lasers, and threaded barrels. So I hope you guys like what you're seeing. Like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment and we'll see you guys next time.